Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of No One Survived, 100 Days. We do have a horde night coming up, unfortunately, and we're still not ready. So we definitely got to find a spot for a, a horde base. I'm thinking maybe down on the beach here somewhere. Other than there's not much for trees. So maybe over there. I just need something with some better defense and like a hallway sort of thing so we can line up some shots so they'll all funnel in and hopefully we can just blast away and last more than 10 seconds this time but yeah since we found uh, the car repair kit I think my first priority is going to be building a new car so I'm going to figure that out we haven't built any cars yet or I haven't even driven one or so that will be all brand new and then maybe we'll go do a little bit of zombie hunting and practice for the horde night coming up. So this here is the truck that we're going to put together. I bumped into it a little while ago and I noticed that it moved so this must be one of the ones you can drive. And I think I can just put that car repair kit in it somehow or... <coughs> And I don't, I don't know if I need other parts or how that really works, but we're going to figure that out today. Does anybody know what this blue arrow is here? I keep seeing it. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I tried, uh, I tried to look it up on Google and I can't figure it out. If you could leave that in the comments, I'd definitely appreciate it. Alright, so should we go take our little truck for a rip if we can? Where did I see that car repair kit? There it is. Hopefully I only need one because that's all I got. And I don't really recall where I got it from. Put a raid up on loot runs. Alright, so how do I do this? Reset position, put in, yes. Condition 50. So I do need another one. Oh, I hear it. Oh yeah, there we go. We got a truck. I don't know if they get damaged up easily, so let's not try to run into stuff. It's not overly powerful either, but it's got to be faster than walking. That's awesome. Now we can actually go exploring. Doing some little donuts here. How do we get out of this thing? There we go. Alright, so we have a lot of storage back here. Is there storage... I would even put the hood back on. Perfect. I say we should go... Is there fuel in these? Oh, there is a little bit. Not very much. So we're gonna need a bunch of these. Mr. Owl's in the background. I can leave a little bit in here just in case I run out. Really tiny little bottles anyways. Alright, what else do we need? Um... That's awesome, I finally got a truck. What day is this? Day 29, I'm just getting a vehicle. Talk about an exciting moment. 
We got some... Oh, we gotta go fill that. I gotta figure out how to clean the water, too. Because this keeps saying dirty water. How do we do this? There we go. Where'd my bottle go? What, did I just lose my bottle? I don't believe I did that right. Oh, it's up there. Silly. But it's dirty. I don't know how to make that clean. I'm guessing I'm going to have to boil it with some, some sort of fire in a pot, maybe? Soon we're going to have to start building our second base, too. Then we can get some animals, a little farm going. Um, how do we start this? Did it break? Oh, it was in the back. Alright. First stop, we'll go down and see what's at the... Oh, shoot. I want to go to the police station, but I gotta find a couple lockpicks. Er. Alright, let's jump out. Let's see what we can find here. And here, there's good loot. So we need fuel. Oh, there we go. First one. Lockpicks. And we need good trading items, which I'm not really sure which are best. But if we see anything that looks expensive, we're definitely going to take that. Like these batteries, I wonder if these are good trading trading items. Lots of bullets. What do we got in here? Nothing. This one must be something good. Um, we'll take our flashlight. I still don't know what all these electronic things are for, but it's going to be cool to figure out because we got we got a big road ahead of us, lots of learning. But I like that. Figure it out as we go. I find if you uh, just watch all the videos on YouTube and kind of, it takes away from the initial experience of learning the game. It does make it a lot easier. If you get stumped with something, yeah, sure, look it up. But I don't try to find like videos on all the final boss. This is. And, uh, little secrets here and there. I just like to figure it out as we go. Makes it a little bit more enjoyable. The game doesn't get as boring as quick. Alright, we definitely got enough lockpicks. I was hoping to find some fuel though. But this does not look like the place to find fuel. I think it's just like a old apartment building. Oh, this is a good one. Alright, we gotta have some... We gotta have some good trading items by now. Alright, how do we get out of here? Why am I bleeding? Maybe I'm just thirsty? I gotta figure out what all these symbols down in the bottom left corner mean too. Hygiene? I think I'm starting to stink. What do I do for that? Go for a swim? Alright, so the police station should be right up here. It's not the fastest, but it's definitely definitely faster than walking. 
All right, what do you guys got in here today? Let's go right upstairs first, check the good spot. What do we got today? Difficulty six. Oh, I almost had it, so it should be, there we go. Just like that. So I'm gonna save the best shelf for last. Oh, what was that? Nothing. Maybe these didn't restock yet. What's all this? Bunch of garbage. Oh, it's the same item, so it's never, never restocked itself yet. So that was a waste coming in here. I bet you all these are empty. Yeah. Mm Well, that sucks. I have my truck from there to here, and it's already done. Got it stuck under the gate. So, I guess we're walking, and gonna try to find another car repair kit. Where was that? I think it was up here, or it might have been all the way up here. I don't believe it was this guy. I think this guy's got weapons. Darn it. That sucks so much. Well, I got a bunch of running ahead of me, so I'll uh, tune back in when I get somewhere. See you guys shortly. Oh shoot, one of those things. Jeez. Whoa, what's behind me? supposed to kill those. Shoot, I think I'm out of bullets. Let's hope there's some food in here. And there doesn't appear to be. Alright, which way are we trying to go? Straight from here. Alright, so we made it to the to the trader. Hopefully it's the right one for a car repair kit. Good day, ma'am. What you got? Darn it. This is not the right one. Filter element? Is that expensive? No? Not what I'm looking for, so maybe it's that guy way up there. 
I'll see you guys at the next trader. Alright, so we made it to the next. Look at elk. Is he gonna come get me? Hopefully he doesn't hit me. One of these days we're going help hunting. So we made it to the old town cafe. Good day, sir. What you got for me today? Oh, it's a bunch of food. I need that, but it's not what I came all the way out here for. And where to now? If it ain't there, and it ain't there. Is it this one? I don't think it's that one. Is it this one way over here? It's gonna suck if it is. The Horde Knight's gonna get me in the middle of the woods. Darn it. Must be this guy way over here. Well, let's get stepping. We got a long journey to go. So I'm pretty sure it's this trader over here I gotta get to. I wonder what this one is though. That'd be awesome if it was that one. I got time to run to that one right quick. I think I might go check out that trader. Let's see what he's getting rid of. And then... That should give me enough time to... Make it back here for Horde Night. See if I need anything before I leave. I think I'm good. Alright, let's go for this journey and try to find this... Car Repair Kit again. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. Nice little run. So we made it to this trader. How's it going, ma'am? What you got? Any uh, car repair kits, please? Books. Darn it. So that must be the trader I gotta go to way over here. I've never been to this one yet. Unless it's this one, but I don't think it is. I think this one is where the animals are. That's clothes, that's books. This one's... Um... Weapons. This one's food. That one's the electronics, I think. So it must be this one. That's too far to go for one day away from Horde Night, so let's go all the way back. We'll go back to camp and we'll start setting up. Or maybe even scout out an area we can start building our Horde base. I was kind of hoping to bring the truck though, or get the truck working. And then we can go actually explore a little bit and spread our bases out. So I'd like to have my horde base maybe over here. I think this base is going to be pretty much done. And then we can move on. So this is just my starter base anyways, just get an idea of the building and such. So after that we're going to scope out a good area. And start building, I kind of want a U-shaped one with a tower in the center. I think that would be pretty cool. Alright. Yeah, so it's tonight, this horde night. Now, what do I need? Other than a bunch of bullets. My guns are all good. I gotta figure out how to boil water. I was going to build stairs right here, but I don't think I'm going to make an, a top level up here. Why is it snowing in the middle of summer? I 
What's going on here? It's snowing in the summer. But it's saying I'm hot. Yeah, this definitely looks like a horde day. Something's about to happen. So we got half a day left. Is there anything I can fix in my... I definitely need a drink. I guess I could try the dirty water. Can't be too bad, I guess. It's only rain water. Let's see what happens. I'll make sure the front's locked. Yeah. I don't know what they do if all the doors are closed. I don't want them to destroy the place either. I think I ate too much or something that wasn't good. Was that the water? Alright, so we're going to need a bunch of bullets. Don't need this anymore, it's empty. Should we bring the shotgun, just in case? No. We ain't going to have time to switch guns anyways. Take another one of these. Then we'll need more of that ammo. Here we go. Oh, don't die already. Does anybody know how to get it off single shot mode? Come on, come on, come on. Shoot, shoot, run. Right, no energy. Am I gonna am I gonna beat it? Whoa, there's one right on my tail. Did I beat it? I actually beat a horde knight. Huh. Ain't that something? Got a little hairy there for a minute though, I didn't think I was going to. That was the her first horde night I actually completed and didn't die within the first 10 seconds. Unless there's more to come. I am slowly dying though. I gotta go get bandaged up, but I don't know if there's more that's gonna come. Alright, so I'm gonna keep my gun out for a minute just in case. So what do we need? First, I need a first aid kit. Where's that? Oh, I got a first aid kit. And now I need something severe infection and bleeding. 
Gastric medicine treats food poisoning. It's not what I need. Do I need this? We'll throw a bandage on just in case. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but I need to find some medication. Was that medication? Alcohol. Ointment? This might work. Does that kill infections? I'm sure I got other stuff here somewhere. I remember seeing a bottle of some kind of pills. Now it's time to head out to that other trader, I guess. Alright, so we finally made it to this trader. Hopefully it's the right one this time. I don't have really many other options. Hello, ma'am. Do you got any car repair kits? Oh, there's two. Yes. Alright, so finally we found it. I don't see anything else that we need. Oh, they're only cheap, too. I didn't know that. There you go. I'll give you a little profit. Maybe I'll even give you something. Um, actually... So battery, oh these are 50, 6, so those are useless. You can take all of these actually. And do you want a little snack? What else can I give you?
Guys, I think we found our new home. It seems to be reasonably flat. There's a little town nearby. I think this will do. So we're going to start our own little town. So, we'll start building. Or laying out some, some structures anyways. So this is going to be the U-shaped part of it. Not really sure how big to go with it, but we do want a fairly big. So the middle is going to be all open anyways. A couple more plant fibers and we should be good. Alright, now we set this as our spawn point. And continue this. So out here I'm going to go one more wider. that guys i'm gonna do a little bit of work here off camera and i'm gonna call that a video thanks a lot for sticking along watching till the end and i'll see you guys on the next one